Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G. Uh, it's been a while since I think I've actually made a jailbreak video. I'm not sure if I actually made one. But today I'll be doing this only for the iPod Touch 2G. Now, this jailbreak is... Um, you can do it on MC models for the iPod Touch 2G. As you can see, I'm running 4.1. I can show you right now. Go to my settings. Four point one. So basically, the things you'll need, if you haven't updated to 4.1, then you're going to need to, because you have to have 4.1. So basically, this works um, untethered on the MC models. I have an MB model. You can check that just the same way I did on settings, um, general, and about. And it'll um, tell you. So the first thing you need is Red Snow, and then the firmware itself, which is the firmware you're going to use when, obviously, you're going to jailbreak it. So when you download that, it will be in the description down there. So you can download it. Or you're going to want to open Red Snow. It's open on the other screen. Okay. Close this here. Once you've opened Red Snow, you're going to want to go down to browse for your firmware. And it should be on the desktop where you download it. Click open. Now Windows gonna open up saying I'm um, asking if your iPod touches it um MC or MB model. And it tells you So, I have MB, so I, I click no. If you have MC, you click yes. You want to go next? Also remember, you have to have your iPod connected. As you can see, mine is connected. Okay, now once done with that, you're going to want to obviously have Cydia checked already. Um, you can have Verbal's boot on. Enable multitasking and home screen wallpaper. Now when you have these checked, you want to click next. Now, as you saw in the um, instructions, you want to make sure your device is turned off. So let me turn off my iPod. Sorry. And then you want to click the next when it's um off and plugged in. And I'm going to wait till mine turns off. Mine is off. Click next. 
Now you have to hold down the power button for three seconds. Then, without releasing the power button, also hold down the ho home button. And then, without releasing the home button, release the power button, but keep holding the home button for 25 seconds. So we're gonna do that. I'll show you that. So. I'm going to click back next hold down for 3 seconds ok now it's in DFU mode now it's gonna do the stages for you and then you should have a white screen Now whatever you see, uh, what's happening on my iPod should be happening to yours also. And now when it says finished, it's all done. Click down there, finish. You're done with that. Now you just have to let it jailbreak. Now this will take a few minutes, hopefully a few seconds, so this video will be short. Uh, jailbreak doesn't really take that long to do. So if you follow the steps, um, and like read the directions and everything, uh, it should be quite easy to do. So it's finished with the um, that screen. Now you should see this. Hopefully it focuses. Oops. Sorry about that. Now it's gonna reboot. When this screen finishes, you should see the iTunes 
logo with the uh, um, wire in the bottom. For you guys, I'm think I'm guessing it should show that. If not, then you have finished jailbreaking. So once you finish jailbreaking, you can continue on. You already have Cydia. And so this is the end of the video. Once it's finished um, jailbreaking, and when it goes to your lock screen, you have um, just finished. When you see this screen, you just finish downloading your. Well, I mean jailbreaking your iPod. So I have Cydia there. All my applications are still here, so that's pretty good. So as you can see, I have Cydia. Should be opening. There we go. Cydia works fine. And there's no problems with it. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. I'll see if I have more um, videos.